Hello guys, in this video we are going to see how to use the frequency divider IC CD4020. So let's get started. CD4020. This IC is frequency divider IC. We can use this IC to divide input frequency or in a time delay circuit. Basically, it is a binary counter IC. It has 16 pins. Pin number 8 is ground and pin number 16 is plus VCC. We can apply from 3 volt to 15 volt. We will use plus 5 volt. Pin number 10 is clock input pin and it is active low. And pin number 11 is reset pin. And this is active high. So whenever we make this pin high, the IC will reset. And these are the output pins. Pin number 9 is Q1. We don't have Q2 and Q3 in this IC. After Q1, we have Q4, Q5, Q6, Q7, Q8, Q9, Q10, Q11, Q12, Q13 and Q14. Q1 means 2 to the power 1 divided by 2 to the power 1. Q4 means divided by 2 to the power 4. Q12 means 2 to the power 12 divided by 2 to the power 12. What frequency we are going to divide? The input frequency. For example, let's take pin number 4. It is Q6. Q6 means 2 to the power 6 and it is equal to 64. So, if the input frequency is 64 hertz, then the output in pin 4 will be 1 hertz because it is dividing 64 hertz by 2 to the power 6. 64 by 64 it is 1 so this is how we can use this IC now we will see this in practical the connection for this IC will be very simple as we know pin number 11 is reset and as it is input pin so we have connected a pull down resistor with this pin number 10 is clock input and we will provide clock pulse through function generator and we will provide square wave it is positive and negative negative will be connected to the common ground pin number 8 is connected to the ground and we will connect pin number 16 to plus 5 volt and we will check the output that is the pin pin 1 to 7 then 12 to 15 the positive pin of oscilloscope will be connected to this and negative will be connected to the common ground. So this will be our connection. This is the IC 4020. Pin 8 is connected to the ground. Pin 16 is connected to the positive rail. And with pin number 11, I am connecting a pull down resistor. Here is 5 volt positive and negative. This is the function generator negative. And function generator positive is connected to pin number 10. As it is clock input. We need square wave. And also we have to do one thing, the offset voltage. We have to make it 2.5. Okay. Now the input frequency is 10 Hertz. And according to the pin diagram, you can see pin number 9 is Q1. It means it is 2 to the power 1. So the input frequency will be divided by 2. So whatever the input frequency will be, pin 9 will give 
its half oscilloscope negative and positive is connected with pin number 9 as you can see here the frequency at pin number 9 is 5 Hertz the input is 10 Hertz and we are getting 5 Hertz if we make the input frequency 20 Hertz then at pin 9 you can see it is 10 Hertz pin number 7 is Q4 16 1 6 so what I'll do is I'll connect my oscilloscope to pin 7 the input frequency is now 160 Hertz here you are getting 10 Hertz it means 160 by 16 equal to 10 so this is how the frequency divider I see working and now you can easily calculate the other pins also just you have to divide the input frequency with pin value so guys this is how you can use this IC to divide input frequency so guys this is all for today I hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll show you another topic till then stay happy and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching